Welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Let's see what you're working on today as we work through more metric problems. This time we'll be working on problems that have multiple steps involved, so it's not simply an addition or a subtraction problem, and our diagrams are going to become even more crucial in problems like this. So let's take a look. I'm going to do two problems with you today. The first problem I'm going to do is problem number one from the homework set. That problem reads as follows, and remember our strategy is to read, then draw, then write. So let's read. The capacity of Jose's vase is 2,419 milliliters of water. He poured one liter, one liter, 299 milliliters of water into the empty vase. Then he added 398 milliliters. How much more water will the vase hold? Well, now we've done the reading. We might even want to reread to make sure that we understand it, but let's get to the drawing. We know there's a vase. I'm going to represent a tape diagram to, to do the entire vase, and we know the whole volume of the vase. The capacity of Jose's vase is 2,419 milliliters of water. And then we know then Jose poured some amount of water into the vase, and that's this amount of water, one liter 299 milliliters. So remembering our earlier lessons, we are going to do that conversion on the fly into milliliters. One liter is a thousand milliliters, so I think that number is 1,299 milliliters that Jose added to the vase. And then he added another section. He added another chunk of water to that vase, and that amount was 398 milliliters. Sorry for my uh, stylus errors there. And the question remaining is, how much more water will the vase hold? So, let's see. We filled up this amount first. Then we added this amount of water. We know that the overall vase holds that amount. So, really what's left is this. So, let's draw that in. That's going to be this amount. And how much water? We're going to use the variable W. How much water? We're looking for W. How much water the vase will hold after that? So, if we look at our diagram, we know we need to get to the point where we can figure this amount out. So it looks like what we need to do is kind of a, a two-stage problem. One is we need to figure out how much water is in the vase so far, and that's this amount plus this amount. Once we have that amount, we could subtract that amount from the overall amount, and that would give us this amount. So this is why this is a multi-step problem. Let's do the addition first. We have 1,299 milliliters, we're adding 398 milliliters to that amount. Let's do that addition. 9 plus 8 in the 1's column is 17, so that's 7 here, and 1 in the 10's. 1 plus 9 plus 9 is 19, so that's 9 here, and 1 in the 100's. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, and 1 is there. So we have, it looks to me like, these two combined, this amount and this amount, is six. I'm sorry, 1,697 milliliters. And now, if we subtracted that amount from the overall 2,419, I think we would have what we needed. So let's take 2,419 milliliters, and we will subtract 1,697 milliliters. Now, when we do subtraction, you know, we need to look at each unit place to make sure that we have enough of the units to do the subtraction. So we look at the ones, and we say, do we have enough units to take away seven units? Yeah, we have nine. Nine minus seven, we can do that. But when we look at the tens, we want to take away nine, but we're only starting with one. And that means we have trouble. So let's go and unbundle one of our hundreds into tens. That would give us eleven tens rather than just one. And now we have a new problem, which is, in the hundreds place, we're trying to take away six units, and we only started with three of the hundreds. So we again need to unbundle. Let's unbundle one of the thousands to create ten hundreds. Ten hundreds plus three hundreds is thirteen hundreds. And now it looks like we're ready. Every single one of our units, ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands, we have sufficient units to do our subtraction. So nine minus seven ones would be two ones. Eleven minus nine tens is two tens. Thirteen minus six hundreds is seven hundreds. And 1 minus 1,000 leaves us with no thousands. That is 722 milliliters. Now, we've not quite gotten to the end of our problem, because while we have done our reading and our drawing, we have not yet done our writing. Our writing, we were asked, 
how much more water will the vase hold? So we need to write the vase will hold 722 milliliters milliliters of water. And that will complete our problem. Let's take a look at a second problem. As you can see, these multi-step problems are considerably more difficult. Again, we're going to use our read, draw, and write method, so let's read first. One barrel held 60 liters, 868 milliliters of sap. A second barrel held 20,089 milliliters more sap than the first. A third barrel held 40 liters, 82 milliliters less sap than the second. If the sap from the three barrels was poured together into a, poured into a larger container, how much sap would there be in all? Oh boy, this is complicated. So we have barrel number one. If we're going to do a drawing, let's do a drawing. We've got barrel number one. And I'm going to do the unit conversions on the fly now that we're doing our drawing. We have 60 liters, 868 milliliters. So that really is 60,868. Oops. Let me erase that. 68. I can do a better 8 than that. 68 milliliters of sap. When we get to our second barrel, we're told that it, it carries, it holds more than the first. More by this amount. 20,000. 89 milliliters of sap, more than the first. So we have that first amount plus the second amount. When we get to the third barrel, we're told that it holds the amount of the second barrel minus some amount. How much less? 40 liters, 82 milliliters less than the second one. And then we're asked the overall question, which is add up all of the barrels and come up with T, a total number of sap, total amount of sap in milliliters that the containers hold. So this is an enormously difficult problem, I think. Um, let's see what it's going to take to solve this problem. Well, we have the first barrel. That's easy. The second barrel, we can figure it out based on the first barrel plus this amount. So let's go figure out that second barrel right now. We have, we started with 60,868 milliliters in the first barrel and we added to that 20,089 milliliters to get the second barrel. Let's add that together. 8 plus 9 is 17, that's 7. 1 becomes a 10. 1 plus 6 plus 8 is 15. 1 goes here. 1 plus 8 is 9. 0 plus 0 is 0, 6 plus 2 is 8, and so we end up with a value for the second barrel. I'm going to do some erasing here just to clean this up. Okay, it looks like I can't do that, so I'm going to go ahead and shrink that drawing a little bit here and start a new part over here, which is the second barrel is 80,957 milliliters of sap. And then we need to figure out barrel number three. And barrel number three, if we recall, is the whole distance of the second barrel minus 40,082 milliliters. So we're going to need to do a subtraction problem. That is 80,957 milliliters. And we need to subtract 40,082 milliliters from that amount. And again, we're going to look at each place value. So, do we have enough ones to do subtraction? Yes, we can take 7 minus 2. Do we have enough tens? Can we take 5 minus 8? Nah, we can't do that. So we're going to need to unbundle one of the hundreds into tens. And now we look in each case. We have enough tens, we have enough hundreds, we have enough thousands, 0 minus 0, and we have enough ten thousands to do our subtraction. 7 minus 2 is 5, 15 minus 8 is 7, 8 minus 0 is 8, 0 minus 0 is 0, and 8 minus 4 is 4, and it looks like 
barrel number three is forty thousand eight hundred and seven oops seventy five milliliters and then we need to add all three of those together so over here in the left hand corner I'm going to add all three of those that's sixty thousand eight hundred sixty eight milliliters plus eighty thousand nine hundred fifty seven milliliters plus 40,875 milliliters. We are adding those all together. Whew, let's go. 8 plus 7 plus 5 is 20, so that's 0 and 2 tens. 2 plus 6 plus 5 plus 7 is 20 again. That's 0. 2 becomes 100. 2 plus 8 plus 9 plus 8 is 27, so that's 7 with a 2. In the thousands place, 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 2, and 6 plus 8 plus 4 is 18. So that's 182,700. And recall, we are not quite done because we need to do our right sentence. Let's see, all three containers would hold 182,700 milliliters. And now we're done with our right, and now we're done with our problem. Whew. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time.